and welcome to Literary Conversations Across Borders. And welcome to uh, Literary Conversations Across Borders. Uh, welcome to Literary Conversations Across Borders. Hello and welcome to this wonderful event entitled Literary Conversations Across Borders. What a series this is. We have had so many wonderful subjects to talk about. We've had science, we've had religion, we've had the environment, we've had global politics, we've had poetry. Let's face it, there's going to be real talk of what, what people are already referring to as de-globalization. We need uh, women to be empowered uh, globally. I believe that we are passing through a transitional period. People have now learned what the world could be like and should be like. They, they will be extremely reluctant to return to the old polluted ways. We need to really rethink what we're doing to the environment, what we're doing to ourselves. People at the end of the day, they're the ones that are creating the demand, the, the pull. So they're the ones that are going to the supermarkets, they're choosing the foods. A good science, like good faith, does not have the answer to everything. Science is based on inquiry. And inquiry depends on never knowing for certain. You always want to find out more. Uh, the power of curiosity, uh, as Leslie has said, and the power of doubt, um, uh, and, and, the, and the idea that there are multiple ways of seeing the same truth uh, would be very, very useful within, within our, any religion in the 21st century. Because I could never even put 100 words together and you're right. I can't give you 100 words, instead I'll give you 255, here's 200, just because in 55 for good measure for every time you said my words wouldn't take me anywhere. Race was not a factor. They said. He said it looked like a demon. It charged me. This is a story about the rising truth. When you feel closed in, simply raise the roof. Mom, from the day we leave to the day we arrive, we were born to survive, born to stay alive. Fake news has become more and more sophisticated. It's an industry, right? When there's so much disinformation out there and misinformation that um, it makes our role more important. We are privileged to witness a truly historic event. A historic event that will mark uh, the direction for this nation, for this state, but also for the region, for the Arab world, I believe, and internationally for many years to come. There's absolutely no reason to think that we are alone or we're the only ones that have been created. I would not be surprised that we will find someday some life form somewhere else in the world. Art and culture is uh, always fired by the imagination. Uh, culture and the arts are what make us as human beings transcendent. The history of the UAE can be traced back to the Neolithic age. Where does fact meet fiction? And what is the responsibility of historians in ensuring that the true interpretation of events is portrayed? Saying of Hegai, who founded the UAE, that a people that does not know its past cannot cope with the present or understand the future. And I think that that's very relevant today. History gives us all the time in the world to think. And it seems to me that history reminds us to remember, to think better. I got out a book and I realized that it was more powerful than a film because it was completely in my head. Reading is so important. It just, it definitely provides you with that sense of empathy towards different cultures, different individuals. What better way to end the series but having a discussion about literature and about great books? Thank you.